In this next tutorial, let's start to explore how the parade scope works. Now you'll notice this actually looks very similar to a waveform monitor. In fact, it is a waveform monitor. It's three different waveform monitors. We've got a waveform monitor for red information, green, and blue. And what's unique about this is it's showing us how different levels of luminance equate to different colors. So wherever you see information in this type of waveform monitor, you're not just seeing how light or dark something is, you're also seeing what the color balance is. So for example, if we take a look at this window up here in the upper right corner of the frame, it's a pretty neutral, close to white shade. Anything that's neutral appears at the same level across all three of the different components of the parade scope. If something was middle gray, we would find it across, we would see similar traces across all three components in the parade scope. If something was black or close to black, a pretty neutral shade, we would find it in similar places in the three different components of the parade scope. Now, this image doesn't have anything that's really truly gray, but it does have something that's fairly white. You'll notice in another image, there's also a lot of fairly neutral whitish shades, so you see those shades in the parade scope. Now we also see in the parade scope two things about it. Not only are they neutral, but they're actually not the brightest, brightest white. They're a little below the top of the scale, but they are neutral. We notice that the dark spot um, where the hair meets the face is just barely tipping to black and we could see that it's just about neutral across red, green, and blue channels so it's pretty much black. I say pretty much, it is a slight offset toward red. Now that actually brings up another point that we need to explore and I'm going to go back to this image to explore that. If one channel is higher in a certain region than others, it means there's more of that color in that channel. So in this case, red is higher in the shadows, which means there's more red in the shadows. Notice right now that in this image that red and green are higher and blue is lower, which means there's more red and green. And if we remember our additive color model, red and green produce yellow. So this is more of a yellowish tone now in the highlights than it was before. So again, when it was more neutrally balanced and the shadows were somewhat even across, we had pretty much a black or near black part of the frame. And where things were equal across the three channels, we had something that was somewhat of a neutral white. In the next tutorial, let's start exploring how balanced images or naturally balanced images would look in the scope. We've started to explore that in this tutorial, but in the next tutorial, let's take more of a look at a variety of different images so that we can really start seeing how the parade scope can help us out in real world scenarios.